Good evening. For over 25 years, the UCSD Medical Center has served as a regional trauma center for the County of San Diego. In 1984, UCSD, in collaboration with the other trauma centers, established the San Diego County Trauma System throughout the county. Because of this collaboration, the preventable death rate from traumatic injury in the County of San Diego has decreased from 21% to less than 1%. Unfortunately, trauma can strike anyone at any time and in any place. With the help of four very special survivors, we'd like to give you a glimpse into the world of trauma and show you the courage of the patients and the dedication and determination of the physicians, nurses, and staff at UCSD Trauma Center. She remembers arriving at UCSD Medical Center Hillcrest and hearing someone describe her as a white female with multiple gunshot wounds. She didn't think it was that many. Susan Tripoli, a dental assistant, had been shot five times by her boyfriend for no apparent reason. Friends said that he adored her. On July 21, 1997, Susan came home after a night out with her family. Everything seemed normal with her boyfriend, Douglas, until all of a sudden, something snapped. And the next thing I knew, he took out the gun, he shot one bullet in the floor, and then he aimed it at me and shot me straight on. At that point, I turned around to pick up the phone to call 911, then he shot me again in the back, and then I just dropped the phone, ran Susan down. was in UCSD's intensive care unit for three weeks in a coma. Doctors thought her chance for survival was slim. She had nearly bled to death. She had sustained gunshot wounds to her pancreas, stomach, and diaphragm. I was told that night that Dr. Hoyt had gone out and told my family, due to the extents of injuries, that I was not going to make it. And actually, my father had told me that you know he had started making funeral arrangements um, because they just it was that grim. But. She remained in the hospital until August 28, 1997, a little more than five weeks since her near-fatal encounter. She remembers very little about her time in the intensive care unit. In fact, she has since visited room six in the unit to see if anything will come back. She's still blank. What she is clear about is how much the trauma team and everyone else at UCSD meant to her. The doctors had told me many a times how I was a miracle that I survived um, everything that I'd gone through and that I'd always be a part of the family, the UCSD family here, and they're absolutely right to this day. The first thing Dana Reeder remembers after being involved in a head-on collision on December 29, 2000, was a nurse in a yellow gown standing over her saying, I need to know how to reach your family. Dana later found out that her family living in Nebraska was told that she had been in a car accident and they didn't expect her to make it through the night. I saw the lights, I slammed on the brake as hard as I could and, and was hit head on 60 miles an hour by a drunk driver in a Corvette who was fleeing the scene of another accident. And I remained conscious up until the end of the accident. I remember the airbag hitting and I remember getting bounced around and um, I remember all the smoke and then I thought the truck was on fire. And so the nurse told her, told my sister that you need to get here. We don't know if she's going into emergency exploratory surgery. We don't know if she's going to make it through. My sister Dana lacerated a lobe of her liver which caused intense internal bleeding. Additionally, she broke eight ribs, her shoulder, and fractured her foot. She spent about five weeks at the hospital. I mean, my mom and I have said we couldn't have asked for a better medical team, doctors, nurses, surgery. I mean, there was not one problem here, not one. Um, and I, I mean, I do. I, I owe my entire life to the trauma unit. They, they kept me alive. Um. Little did she know that a four-wheeling adventure in the dunes of Mexico would land her in the intensive care unit of the very hospital in which she worked. But that is what happened when Connie Rodenheiser, a nurse at UCSD Medical Center, was critically injured in a hit-and-run accident. I mean, also never underestimate the impact of the lives that you come in co contact with on a daily basis. I had no idea that the people I work with would end up saving my life. 
The accident left Connie with three skull fractures, a broken collarbone and ribs, a ruptured liver, a spine broken in seven places, and less than a 5% chance of living. She spent a month in the intensive care unit and three months total in the hospital. I just want to say that the trauma unit was absolutely incredible and um, I know that my chances were very slim and I'm real fortunate to be not only alive but to be a practicing nurse again, which is one of my greatest passions of all, so I'm really grateful. Throughout her time in the hospital, Connie used the pediatric patients she cared for as inspiration and remembered how hard they fought for their own lives. No matter what, no matter what kind of um, trauma we all have, whether it's physical or emotional or financial or you name it, it's don't let it defeat you. And for me, it's like I am so lucky to have been able to come back to the person I used to be. And that's because I had to get to know who I was and what I, my, my main um, focus was in life. Imagine 6,000 pounds of pressure rolling over your body at about five miles an hour. That's what happened to stand-up comedian Richard Binsfield when he was jump-starting his motorhome at 4.30 in the morning on October 28, 1997. Hurt a lot, <laughs> basically, and uh, I had to crawl from where I was run over. The motorhome went past me, was off of me, and I had to crawl to my neighbor's back door and beat on the door with my head because I couldn't pick up my arms. Paramedics uh, arrived on the scene, wanted to life flight me, but because of the, uh, the marine layer at the coast, uh, they weren't able to uh, use the helicopter. So the paramedics made a decision to bring me to UCSD Medical Center, which wasn't the closest medical center. It was uh, the, the one that was the best for trauma, and they figured that I needed the best. Richard broke all of his ribs, punctured his lung, destroyed his pancreatic veins, and almost all of his liver was destroyed. Richard had 10 operations in 10 days. He spent 73 days in the intensive care unit, four months and 20 days total in the hospital. I was told that the doctors came out and told my family that I probably wouldn't make it. And Richard credits his survival to the trauma team at UCSD, especially Dr. David Hoyt. Oh, I, I can't say enough good things about Dr. Hoyt. Uh, he, he's, he's funny, uh, he's reassuring, he's strong. When he makes a decision, you feel confident in the decision that he makes. He never leaves you out of the loop. He, he makes sure that you know exactly what's going Being on. Being able to laugh at life also helped Richard survive. After the accident, his friends started to call him Speed Bump. In fact, his mother got him a hat that says Mr. Speed Bump. I wear this as my badge of honor. These are only a few of the many remarkable patients who have survived trauma. It is with their strength and courage that our trauma team goes on and helps these patients survive. It is through the dedication and expertise of the physicians, nurses, and staff at UCSD Medical Center that we're able to deliver excellent care to these patients. It is with your support and help that we're able to enhance our services. On behalf of UCSD Healthcare, and especially my colleagues at UCSD Trauma Center, I'd like to thank you very much for coming tonight.